Hello students, so let's try to solve this problem and this is a very wonderful problem from TIFR examination and uh, you can see in this problem there is a wave function is given and the wave function is given in a pictorial form and what we have to do we have to find the average kinetic energy. So it's a straightforward question but it's a really very interesting and tricky. So once you have this question in your mind then you will surely go for this particular formula. So, average value of kinetic energy is nothing but integration minus infinity to plus infinity psi star minus h cut square del square psi upon del x square and this is 2m dx. So, this is your formula for the average value of kinetic energy and once you will see this particular picture then what will happen? You will see this is just a straight line proportional to x, the psi x is proportional to x here. Here is also psi x is proportional to x and here psi x is constant. And if you will go for the double derivative, then this part is 0, this part is 0, this part is 0 and you will give the answer is 0, which is absolutely wrong. So, how you should approach this problem? This is one of the very fundamental problem to understand the basic of your mathematics and understanding the Dirac delta function and unit step function all these concept will come into this, this particular problem. So, let us try to solve this one. So, what is the idea? The idea is that first we have to find the normalization because if you will not find the normalization obviously answer will be not a accurate one and then we have to see what will be graph of d psi upon dx. This is very interesting. And after we analyzing this particular graph, then we will go for what will be the value of d square psi upon dx square. And once we will see this value of d square psi upon dx square, then obviously we can get the answer. So let's try to go with step by step. So this is a well-known function. So, what I will do, I will put normalization constant A here and I can assume that in psi x has maximum value of A such that we can write psi x as a function of capital A and in the function of a small a and b, all the parameters are given and then we will do all this calculation. So, let us try to go for this. So, okay. So, first this is my curve. The curve is, say, I am just plotting this curve again. So, this is my curve and this is psi x versus x. This value is minus a plus b. This value is minus a, this one. This value is a and obviously this value is a plus b. So, this value is a plus b. I can put that this value is a. So, we can use the concept of a straight line and we know that a straight line can be written in form of y is equal to mx plus c and we can find the m for this value is equal to b by a, this for is the minus b by a and the intercept will be a plus b by a, you can easily calculate this thing. So, what will be my psi x? Our psi x is equal to a and this value is equal to a plus b into x plus a plus b by b actually. So, this is your psi x and this is between x is between minus a plus b to minus a and equality sign we can easily give and this value is equal to a where x is between minus a to plus a, I am talking about this one and last one is a and you can take minus a plus b x plus a plus b by b and uh, this value is equal to between a to a plus b. So, this is all our, all about our equation and of the, this particular wave function and we can use the concept that value is mod psi square dx between minus infinity to plus infinity is equal to 1 and obviously otherwise it is 0. 
So this is the complete equation of wave function and you can see this is linear. So once you will go for the second order derivative, this will automatically zero. This is constant. So everything will be zero, but that is not the correct answer. So we can easily use this expression and you can solve this particular value, uh, value for A and I have calculated with myself. I am getting the value of A here is basically, uh, you can get this value of A is root under 3 upon 2B plus 6A. This is very simple calculation. Only one thing you have to do, once you are doing this calculation, so basically then you can put all this value as t and then you can easily calculate it. So the calculation is very simple. You can get this value of a if you are not going any error. Now this is very interesting. Now once we will put this value of a here, so I am just writing the value of a here. And the value of a is basically root under root under 3 plus 2b plus 6a and uh, this value is equal to 3 2b 6a 3 2b plus 6a. So this is your value of a and this is your normalized wave function. Now when you will go for the first order derivative. So once you will go for the first order derivative then what will happen? Then you can see, this is very interesting. You can see if we are plotting the first order derivative and this value is equal to d psi upon dx versus x, then this is your constant value with positive number. So this value has something like this up to minus a by b to a. And here we have this as your negative value because minus a by b is negative. This value is minus a, this value is a and this value is equal to minus a plus b and this value is basically a plus b. It's a very interesting. So what will happen? What will happen? What will happen? We can easily see that these two are a straight line and this is something like as a unit step function. So what will happen when you will differentiate it naturally in this region it is zero in this region it is zero but at this two point it is actually Dirac delta function. So once this point is Dirac delta function so this is the catch into this particular problem. So let's try to go for a another value, so another second order derivative of d psi upon dx. So once we will go for d psi upon dx, then I can calculate d psi upon dx here. So sorry, second order derivative. So d square psi upon dx is actually root under 3 upon 2b plus 6a and this value is 1 upon b delta x plus a and this is in the region between minus a plus b to minus a and the second one is or zero itself but, but I am interested into another one. So this is 3 upon 2b plus 6a this is minus 1 upon b actually this is minus 1 upon b and this is delta x minus a and this will be in the reason that value is equal to a to a plus b. So this is the catch into this particular problem and you can see that once you are getting this particular thing then obviously we will go for the uh, kinetic energy for average of kinetic energy and this average of kinetic energy between minus infinity to plus infinity and we will go for psi star t square psi upon dx square dx and here we will go for minus h square to square upon 2m and once we will open it then this value is equal to minus h square to square upon 2m and we will go for integration and otherwise it is zero, and zero otherwise. So there is not any problem. So that value is equal to minus a plus b to 
minus a and our function is basically root under 3 by 2b 6a and that value is equal to basically b by so we have to write the value of psi x here and the value of psi x is equal to x upon b that value is x upon b this is normalization constant plus a plus b and this value is second order derivative this part is there so this value is 3 upon 2b plus 6a and 1 by b is there and this is delta x plus a and next integration is all about your minus a to a plus b and this value is equal to root under 3 2b plus 6a this is 2b plus 6a and we have minus x by b plus a plus b and this value is minus 1 by b delta x minus a dx is there and dx is also there and this value will come outside and once you will go for this particular integration this is very simple now you have to put x is equal to and this is b also this is b also this is b also so once you will put the value of x is equal to minus a and minus because Dirac delta is x is equal to minus a, you will put and you will get the final answer. So, I have just calculated the final answer and the final answer is given by that the kinetic energy T is equal to 3 h cut square upon 2 m b and that value is equal to b plus 3 a. So, this is our kinetic energy. So, students, this question can came into your net exam also with the con for the concept of variational principle. They can give you the trial wave function of this one and then you can also calculate the total energy with the given parameter. Anyway, so this is a wonderful problem. Just try to do with yourself and you can see how you can approach this one. If you have any doubt, you can easily contact to me. Thank you.